Kevin O'Sullivan's come out and said that he doesn't think banning players from match fixing works pretty in, 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 in those terms. I don't agree with that. I think in match fixing you deserve to have a lengthy ban uh, and possibly a life ban uh, because you bring the sport to disrepute. One thing I do agree with in his, his interview, he says he, there needs to be a players union. At the moment, snooker does not have a players union. Players union can cover multiple things. Many team sports have it. Many individual sports have it. Snooker is one of the few sports or games that doesn't have a players union that is a professional uh, professional sport. And snooker is classed as a professional sport. doesn't have a players union. This is a very archaic way of looking at it because that means organisers of tournaments can be very unscrupulous with the amount of prize money they give. Uh, let's say a 147, uh, best newcomer award, things like that. Uh, the winner, you know, how much do you know players get paid for, you know, their, their appearance fee in it? That's a problem. Also, there could be issues to do with alcohol and drug misuse. Yes, many snooker players have had problems with the bottle and gambling addiction. Stuart Bingham, prime example. No players unions. They can't have access to I need help. Can you direct me to the right people to help me or help my friend who's also a player? That doesn't exist. Also, it'd be interesting to understand why players match fix. Um, the three players that I did a video on earlier today, um, two of them are in the top 50 and one of them is an ex-player who had a reasonable successful career at a reasonable level and some decent prize money. So they're not no hopers. So it's interesting that you know they are under investigation. Same thing happened to John Higgins and uh, Stephen Maguire, both being investigated for match fixing in the past, and obviously Stephen Lee being banned for it. The problem is there. It's the same in other sports. The problem is there. It's not going to go away. Brian O'Sullivan, he's highlighting the issue. Whether I agree with him saying match fixing doesn't work, uh, match fixing bans don't work, is another thing. I think you've still got to put big firm. With those who do break the rules. If they're naive enough um, to do it, that's their own fault. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm one of those people, like, if they're naive enough to get involved in match fixing, it's their own fault. Uh, I think better education and say, look, if you do do this, you're getting lengthy bans. And in some countries, match fixing is actually also part of uh, a drive against organised crime. So if you get caught doing it, you can go to prison. These punishments need to be highlighted in, in some kind of literature that World Snooker gives out as a governing body. And that's where a players union can come in. They can give courses and say, look, this is the consequences of your actions. You know, you can ruin your career, uh, be a pariah, not be accepted back into the sport, um, never play for the sport ever again. You know, not enough is done to combat it. Like, I've not heard of any education seminars saying, like, look, we're going to sit players down and say, look, this is the risks associated with what you do. Um, other sports do have these anti-corruption drives. Uh, other sports have been highlighted to be corrupt. FIFA, there we go, is a prime example. And the, the knock-on effect damage it has with trust in the governing body. I don't agree with Ronnie O'Sullivan's stance that he doesn't think the bans work. I think you, you have to have a carrot and stick method. You can, you've got to have a players union. You've got to talk to the players and say, look, this is this is the consequences. But then also enact those consequences. To, you've got to use players as an example. It's harsh, but fair. It, 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 I think a carrot and stick method works. It's properly enforced. Um, and if players cooperate, they can get lesser bans. Simple. Um, there's reasons why players, I mean, to doubt lack of players union, gambling addiction could be a problem, alcoholism could be a problem, debt. Um, the last 10 years have seen a surging growth in the game all over the world. But pro sportsmen are human like the rest of us and have addictions. Anyway, I'm going to leave that there. Have your thoughts. Do you think snooker needs a players union? I do. I think it does. Otherwise, it can't be classed as a modern sport if it does not have a players union because the amount of players playing professionally now at a decent level in tournaments, it means they can also have a say in how the sport is run and how they feel they are treated and their competitors are treated. And when issues like this come up, getting help. But I don't agree with Ronnie O'Sullivan saying the bans don't work. I think that's that um, that's an issue. But anyway, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe, place your comments below, and I'll have some more videos for you soon.